Hey my friends, how are you today? So welcome to the video. This is a live Facebook video. My name is Owen Fox, coming at you from Wexford in Ireland. It's a very misty day today here, but I just thought I'd connect with you. There's still people enjoying swimming in the sea and walking on the beach. I think I might take my own shoes off, my grounding things on too. But yeah, how are you keeping today yourself? Lots of love. So yeah, in this video I thought uh, I'd just share with you something I've been thinking lately. And that is, uh, just, just yesterday and maybe a bit this morning as well, you know? And that is um, about like caring what people think, you know? Um, I was thinking like, in what ways do I care? Like, do I care? How, how, how much do I care? Or do I not care, you know? So, I was just thinking like, I don't really care at all what people like, think about like, the clothes I'm wearing. Like, I can go around with a lot, a lot of messy clothes, to be honest. Like, like even now, I have some messy clothes, you know? Just from mangoes and whatever else. But the reason is because like w once you start to awaken more, like and as I've awakened more, I know fully I'm not my, my body, my soul suit. So um, if I'm not my body, I'm definitely not my clothes. So if someone like wants to live with me or likes me or fancies me because of my clothes, do you really think that's going to be a good relationship, be it a friendship or a romantic relationship, if it's based on my clothes, my outer, outer covering? I want someone to love me for my spirit, like who I am, my mind and my emotions, you know? And secondly, so I don't care what people think that in that regard, but I care how people feel and I care for people, so that's different. But I also, do I care what people think if it's bad about me, is it just generally thinking stuff about me? Nah, not really, like to be honest. I've been awakening for 15 years, so that's not really the most important thing, like what people think, because I, I've learned a lesson and I know this, that what people think, say and do, and the same goes for me, it's a reflection of our consciousness. So. But what someone else says, thinks or does is a reflection of them. It's just like showing what, how they are, what they're, where they are at in life. It's what level of consciousness, what step of the journey of evolution they're at. Um, their own personal development that they've gone through or not gone through. And the same goes for me. So I'm not judging anyone, not in the slightest bit. So I know similarly how I think, feel and act towards somebody else isn't based on their worth, value or whether or not they've acted good or bad. It's it's It shows where I am at on my journey of spiritual spiritual evolution. So that's the truth of the matter, and that's, that's, that's wisdom, that's knowledge, that's accurate, that's correct. So I don't mind if people happen to be like thinking some thoughts about me, or saying some words about me. But usually that doesn't happen probably, if nothing, it's not like I'm a big fuss doing things that are warranting like people to talk bad about me anyway, but you know, you know what I'm saying, you know. If anyone can find faults depending on their level of consciousness, with anything so like it's our thoughts and beliefs in any moment that determine how we um how we feel okay and how we ultimately act as well so i'm trying to find a place to put this down it's a beautiful place i'm still really happy here on the beach i'm very happy here just I'm sitting on some rocks usually when i don't have a sore rib because i had to climb up on top of my roof and um, there's uh, I usually like to do rock skipping, running around barefoot, and it's just extensive fun and very therapeutic and relaxing for me. So here's another question: Do I care what people think of me, like in terms of like liking me, saying nice things about me, praise, compliments, words of affection or adoration or appreciation, etc.? Yeah, I definitely care. I love that. It's really nice energy to receive. It's like being giving a gift. But do I need it? No, I don't think I need it but it's, it's beautiful. So here's the lesson I've learned here I want to share. It's more important to be loving than to, than to be loved. Another way of saying that is it's much more important to be who you truly are and to be a higher state of consciousness and vibration instead of hoping, waiting or dreaming for someone else to be tuned in, tapped on, turned on to their true self. That's really important, my friends. And that pertains to also unconditional kindness, unconditional love, being the truth and being our truth is a joyful affair it's a, it's a beautiful state it's a lovely happy joyful peaceful feeling and you can't buy that you can't you can't get that by just buying it or you have to develop that within yourself so that's that's the biggest gift in the world emotional well-being so yeah but do i but do i do i like receiving the love and the goodness of course i do and my friends and are all awakening and we've it's, it's beautiful to have comrades and acquaintances who are like loving and tapped in a lot of the time, just like me, you know? So, 
not all the time, but enough, plenty, a lot of the time, plenty, like enough, you know, we do our best, you know, it's not a competition, and every human is basically on the same boat, so no one's just always in, in connection to their true self, um, for example, um, some in some tr spiritual traditions or religious traditions, like being celibate is a good thing, um, but I do, I, I think um, to try and shy away from a relationship is the easy route out, because relationships are the number one grounds where and we expand and evolve and a lot of our past pain and ego and pain body comes up for our clearing so they're very 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 spiritual things to be in a relationship where you work on yourself and and your own tr tremendous massive spiritual growth which i've done as well uh, in my current relationship especially of, of, of a f good few years you know so it's super important it's a beautiful thing in terms of saving your sexual energy instead of not overly ejaculating as a man i think that's a really good important thing to do I think try and definitely don't do it too much and try and save as much as your vital force and your energy as possible. It's very important. It's, it's super important for so many reasons. So in, in, that, in that regard, some people use the word celibate. I think um, saving that energy is very important. So anyway, I think I've talked about almost everything in this video. Um, in terms of caring, what other people think. So I've, I've, I've shared that, I've explained that. But the last thing I want to say is um, yeah, showing my muscles there, a little bit, a little bit of muscles lately. Ow! <laughs> Having my beautiful children, family with me, playing as a daddy, full, full on daddy. I love that role. Um, but yeah, I don't overly care how I look in terms of my body either. It's nice to be healthy and holistic and balanced and well, but I don't try and do a whole lot of extra things just to look good, so I can like look in the mirror or have somebody admire my muscle. Because what's more important to me is my spirit, my truth, my essence. And that's what's important when I look at other people. Like I want in a partnership, for example, I want mental attraction, physical, um, emotional, like emotional attraction, like a resonance of emotional, like love and care and well-being and inner inner development, virtues and traits, like being developed, spiritual growth. You know, raising our frequency, energy, vibration, and consciousness. That's what's most attractive to me by far. And that's my friends are all attractive to me in those ways. I do also think that it's good to have some chemistry or attraction in terms of physical or sexual too if it's going to be like a romantic or or a sexual relationship that just kind of makes sense it's kind of a little bit common sense and a little bit straight a little bit straightforward to, to not to think that like it's it's kind of like it's important but sometimes we get confused um it is important to have the physical or sexual attraction too in my opinion for sure but what's far deeper and far more important ultimately and what will create a long-term or a lasting prosperous joyful loving connected and intimate relationship is phys is a mental and emotional intimacy and connection spiritual um, intimacy and connection as well you know but uh yeah that's all i want to say in this video better go lots of love hope you have a nice day and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget my name is on fox and i love you if, you if you feel like connecting more and i also do coaching i have books and video series coming out and audiobooks and um, I do one-to-one -one coaching on holistic and physical healing as well. Spiritual, spiritual um, relationship coaching and healing. That's my favorite. Help the family, help the kids, help the adults. Um, I'm very well practiced and experienced at this. And that's and it happens to be my passion. So that's what I've been landed in life, so to speak. That's what I love to do. And that's what I love to help others do. So if you need any help, just contact me. Befriend me on social media, Facebook, etc., etc., etc. YouTube, Odyssey, Instagram. And I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for a lot for everyone who shares these messages and um, to help other people hear these messages. Because these messages are often censored or uh, given bad algorithms by social media tech giants. So you only get like a few a few views compared to like someone doing something super shallow and superficial, which I've no judgment of, no condemnation of. I mean, um, and they get like millions. So let's help support the consciousness of the planet i'm always sharing other people's work that's high vibe and helps improve the consciousness both friends and also just overall beautiful high vibe healing music and um, you should check my facebook wall i've shared so many beautiful things from other people so it's a little merry-go-around of co collaboration and helping each other out you know mutual encouragement hey john john has made a comment so hard to not be affected by the others so important <laughs> my brother <laughs> I love John. Love you, brother. You're just so likable. <laughs> You're so nice. You're so lovely. And, uh, I know you feel the same way. So I love all of you and your work, affection and kindness to me too, my friend. Yeah. Okay. Well, talk to you all soon.
Bye, love to you all. And John, thanks for popping by and saying hi, my friend. Lovely to have you. I'll talk to you all soon, okay? Bye from Ireland. <laughs> so joyful and happy to share a video with you today. Thanks, I'm thankful for technology. Bye.